Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com back here in Los Angeles, back here in Hermosa Beach, California. And back here with some 2023 Topps Chrome Baseball Jumbo Edition, eight box, pick your team at number 11 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. All card ship. And a big thanks to this group for making it happen straight up, no filler. Appreciate that here on the last day of July. Ending the month strong, I hope. There's Mark with Last Bot Mojo with the San Francisco Giants. And good luck. This break will take a little, not as long as that dual caser we did earlier, but it's about, I don't know, how long does it take, Jason? About an hour or so? Here's my knife. Hang on. Found my knife. Yeah, back from Chicago, back from the National. Good to be back home. Although, it's hot here too. I guess it's hot in the entire country, right? It's that, that, that time of year. Hot time. But yeah, this is definitely toasty in Chicago. And definitely toast. Even for even for even for us on the seaside. So Arthur, it is hot over here, relatively speaking. It's all relative, Arthur. Temperature is relative. Although it is hot for you out there too. And my, my family in Vegas also feeling the same effects. But for her, her mom's a beat. Definitely hot. Oh no, the Blue Jays are wearing their red uniforms. That trips me out. When the word blue is in red. It messes with my head a little bit. But for us, in Hermosa Beach, definitely hot here. Hot in Chicago when we were in Chicago. Hot for that time of year, too. All right, first jumbo box. <clears throat> now, we did a dual hobby case uh, a little while ago. Jumbo, that's one auto a box. Jumbo, three autos a box. All right, good luck. All cards ship. I think I've got the focus set like right here. So I think we should be good here. There's Dalton Varsho speaking of the Red Blue Jays today, 10 out of 75. Uh, I, Jan, yes, I am a fan of the Sapphire cards. I think they, I think they're pretty sharp. I have that, that F1 driver, Lando Norris, in a, in a Sapphire design. 150 cent out of 250. Buddy Kennedy for the Diamondbacks. Sean Maddock with this buddy, this buddy of ours. We'll do an autograph recap at the end of the break as well. Now the dual case break, we've got some time to sit around and talk about the national, check out the blog, uh, the Jaspies blog, Jaspies HQ. You can see it on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I still have to do one more recap. Maybe I'll do that tonight. We'll do one more recap tonight. I want to get a little taste of of uh, our experience at the National, a little, little rapid fire notes and using notes in there. It's good to be back home. And it's good to be pulling some, some Carrie Carpenter, eight out of 50. Rookie auto for the Tigers. That's gonna be for Ronald. Picked up the Tigers straight up. Be one more autograph here. 
Got a Kyle Stowers photo negative parallel. How many kids did I curse at this time? This time I managed to curse at zero kids, Arthur. We didn't have a booth there this year, so the, pos the chance of me cursing at a kid had fallen dramatically. <laughs> But, a, but did have a lot of, uh, did run into a lot of kids who were like, hey, jazz beams. I'm like, yeah. So that's nice. And there's a Riley Green rookie auto. Nice. Ronald and the Tigers. He's supposed to be pretty good. All right, box one in the books. Hey, uh, there are, Next box. There are four cases left of Jumbo. I see three are on the site. Can I grab that fourth one as personal? Uh, sure. Cool. As long as they're all they're all uh, YouTube stickers, right? The two um, are me. And that I don't. So you grab this one. I'll double check. Um, I would pop, do me a favor and put, don't, put yeah, one. put two stickers yeah. on a couple jumbos and you can take whatever jumbos left. Yeah, the sapphire is a good look, Jan. I think, I think that's one of those, those, those uh, special, I think they're online exclusives, right? But whatever it is, that was um, a good one by them. And I think a lot of those Sapphire cards still sell pretty well in the secondary market, especially nowadays, especially if they're, if they're graded up. Even the standard base, especially what during like the first, within the first few months of new release day, also still selling strong. Now, speaking of buyers and sellers, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on with, uh, with baseball here? Uh, I was confused. Those two that are on the site are already put to the side of stickers, so there are four left. So. Okay, we got plenty then. Yeah. Okay. Sell them out, ladies and gentlemen. We've got some more, got some more jumbo. We got uh, Mets and Astros are continuing to discuss Justin Verlander. The Dodgers were in the mix for that a little bit. Reds acquired Sam Maul from the A's. Brewers acquired Marcana from the Mets. Giants got AJ Pollock. Um, we got Aaron Saval went to the Rays. Yeah, Rangers are doing a lot of work, Jen. They got Jordan Montgomery. And they got Max Scherzer. Blue Jays got Jordan Hicks. Cubs took Cody Bellinger off the market. Dodger, my Dodgers got Lance Lynn and Joe Kelly among others, to, to reinforce their team. Dodgers still need, I feel like, a little pitching. Maybe a right-handed bat would be nice, too. But I don't I think they're it's trying to run out of time. I wouldn't be surprised if they made a big deal. But they are kind of running out of time. You know, Michael Rove, Grove did not have a good start last time out, so they, they could use another starting pitcher. I don't think Stroman is really going anywhere. He's got an opt-out that I think is going to scare some people away. There's Jared Walsh to 350. That'll be for the Halos. That'll be for Mike G. Nolan Arenado was involved in some trade rumors, but the GM said, no, we're not doing it. Here's a, our first auto of the second box. Drew Waters to 499, refractor auto for Brandon in Kansas City. Um, our friend Chad was, uh, was a little confused about, about the Diamondbacks deal. Diamondbacks adding pieces too. So the Mariners are sending Paul Seawald to the Snakes for infielder Josh Rojas and rookie outfielder Dominic Canzone and infield prospect Ryan Bliss. Which Chad was saying, why, why do we trade our, what, closer, right? For, uh, for two nobodies, he was, he was saying. I don't know, maybe they saw something in him.
think they added bats. They wanted bats, I think. Here, oh, so Drew Otters was, I'm just trying to keep track of the three autos. Drew Otters was our first auto out of the second box. And Tyler Freeman, 132 out of 250 is our next auto. Cleveland, this is for you. That goes to Ryan and the Guardians. C. May, what's going on? Yeah, I was surprised. They, they moved, Rangers moving Luis Angel Acuna. Supposed to be really good. And so they, there's, it is a young team. But I suppose they thought they can afford to, to let Luis Angel go. They, I feel like they've got a pretty decent farm system. James Altman blew to 125. Uh, blue, whatever they call this one. Not speckle, something else. Panini calls it pulsar, right? But I like the aggressiveness of this note, though, you know? And I think what's, and then Scherzer has some sort of option that he can play around with. They're all in. Why not, why not strike? Well, the iron is hot. And there's another Drew Waters. So the first one was a refractor autograph, second one just a base autograph, Brandon, but you are starting your Drew Waters PC from Topps Chrome. What is international cap space? I think you're allotted some sort of money for inter international players, but there's like a cap for it. I think that's because, you know, I guess suppose richer teams cannot just outspend other teams in, in, in a you know low risk high reward international player market so to avoid that they've created a sort of cap space but I think that number can you think you could I think you can trade that money you can also lose that money as punishment or infractions especially in the international. I don't know exactly what that number is, but I think that money can be can be traded during the draft. It can be used for all sorts of all sorts of things. Yeah. Maybe I mean to the classic saying, pitching pitching wins playoff games, right? You need that starting pitching, which the Rangers starting pitching looks great. Now, now they just need to work on now they just need to work on uh, that bullpen. I mean, they can, we still have until tomorrow. I think the deadline is actually Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern. I think I said, I think I said midnight Eastern. But no, it's 9 p.m. Eastern. No, did I say 9 p.m.? 6 p.m. Eastern. 3 p.m. L.A. time. I thought it was later than that. But it's not. Can this camera maybe show a little more of the boxes here? There you go. The boxes in question. And we got some green wave here. Trevor Story to 99. Boston, that'll be for Blair in Boston. And we got an A's autograph. 16 out of 150, Jonah Bride. Here comes the bride. That's gonna go to Eric M and the Oakland A's. Got a blue Ray Wave autograph, some nice color.
Ah, right. And teams can also increase their international pool money by trading players away and increasing that pool. Yeah, just a little, another little wrinkle in uh, the baseball strategy there. So I think what was... Jonah, I think, was the first autograph. And here's Tommy Henry, rookie auto for Sean Maddock. What, what GM job do you think is the hardest among the major sports? Let's just say football, baseball, basketball. I guess they all have their own challenges, but... But, um... I don't know. I, I guess NFL is pretty hard. You got to try to find, you know, a bunch of players and backups, and you know that's such a, a, a team that requires football is a sport that requires so much more team chemistry. You got to work in concert together. That's going to be one of the one of the hardest. Baseball not only have a major league roster, but you're looking at minor league rosters too. This the sheer number of players in your organization has got to be pretty. That'd be pretty difficult. Yeah, var baseball variance is just difficult. Is that numbered? No, it's not. Any league with a salary cap? Yeah, to operate on that salary cap. Yeah, the the financial gymnastics that and there's Carlos Perez, our third auto of the box. And it'll be for the White Sox. It's going to go to Patrick. Yeah, trying to do all the financial gymnastics there has got to be difficult. Soccer, I, soccer has its own unique challenges too, but I don't know. When you have like oil-rich companies like Manchester City who just seems to just just write checks. Wow, is it R.I.P. Bill Russell? Also, Pee Wee Herman R.I.P. You know, Bill Russell was, uh, he's already R.I.P. I think that was the anniversary of his death is to Bill Russell. He passed away in 2022. But Pee Wee Herman has died on the same day. Yeah, cancer, I think, for, uh, for him. Uh, yes, Jen. I did see the new grading company, that Arena Arena Club. I, uh, in fact, a former Jaspi employee is uh, is on there. Soccer you have to worry about the board of governors. It's not, not really, unless you are on a on a team that has uh, has nosy boards of, uh, of governors. A lot of teams are still just. A lot of teams don't operate with the Board of Governors. Different challenges, but I'm not sure if it's... Did Andrew Johnson, the, the, our president, died July 31st, 1875? Just seemed like yesterday. Andrew, Andrew Johnson, Andrew Jackson? Am I thinking of Andrew Jackson? Was Andrew Johnson also a president? He was. A vice president, I guess. Well, president for a little bit after, after Lincoln. Those are the last people I'll ask playing football manager, Jan. Those guys think they can run football teams. But that's not real life. <laughs> it was Dansby Swanson to 199. Yeah, I know who I <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. Sometimes Jan gets like that.
Yeah, but it, to them it is. I agree, but it's really not. Next thing you know, Jan's going to tell us that George Washington was maybe the first president. Well, it's just the base Corbin Carroll. Those, those all ship. And here is Connor Capel to 150. A's autograph for Eric M. Yeah, Tony Bennett passed away not too long ago as well, a week or so ago. Don't they say it happens in threes? Was there another sort of... Although I guess Pee Wee Herman's not exactly Tony Bennett's stature, but was there like a third celebrity? Maybe in that range? And we got uh, 113 to 299, Elia Hernandez. And that's for the Rangers, Tristan with the Rangers. Next bit here. And we got a Michael Tobley at a 250. But yeah, that, that arena company, they're actually here in LA. The one with Derek Jeter's bat. I don't know how deeply he is involved in it, but we have a former Jaspie co-worker that, that works there. So, bass player, yeah, that's true. The, one of the Eagles. Bass player for the Eagles also passed away, so I, mean, I guess those could be your three. And there's Jermaine Palacios for Ronald and Detroit. I mean, is he involved in like day-to-day -day operations? I don't think so. The, uh, the, the, the head guy, it's actually a guy named Brian who does the day-to-day -day operations. I think they have the, the support of Derek Jeter and, and name and finances and whatnot, but I don't think Jeter's making day-to-day. -day. He's not hiring or firing people. I don't think he's making day-to-day. -day. He's not in the office chopping it up with, those, with that team there. He was at the Nationals, though. Let's, let's see how all that, I mean, I was surprised at, at the National in Chicago, I was surprised at how many new grading services there were out there. Well, I'll, I'll ask, Jan, I'll get to the bottom of it. I'll be like, hey, is Derek Jr. in the office every day? I don't think Jeter's putting in 40 hours a week, though. But yeah, a lot of grading services uh, popping up. Everyone's using different kind of technology. Everyone wants to, I, I don't know who's gonna, who's gonna end up on top. There's a lot of great looking ideas out there. A lot of people trying to get into that grading space. You know, who becomes a successful third party, you know, grading service. I, I guess PSA and Beckett are still the, are still the big dogs in the, uh, in that space, right? There's Jared Encarnacion to 150. 
that's that's been we we kind of do so we do something like that. We've got a little uh, working with PWCC. So people can definitely use that. We need a check out that link right there. I think we get a small referral, but I, I don't know if it's anything significant. But there's Steel Walker, another Tiger for Ronald. That's right, Sinead O'Connor did pass away. That was sad. But yeah, check out that PWCC link on the website, and there's ways to submit the hits that you get from us. I think some people on the personal break side of things have certainly taken advantage of that service. But they, they hosted us uh, in their live streaming booth over National Week, and we got to use, the, use, their, use their technology, live stream from there, and hopefully get some people to check out, check out PWCC. That, but, but yeah, the, uh, yeah. PSA Goat saying PSA needs to uh, need some of that tag grading content. They're also based in Los Angeles. I was talking to some of the guys on the tag team as well. Tag team, back again. Here's a uh, Michael Massey, rookie autograph for the Royals. They've got really cool little see-through slabs, which would be great for uh, displaying. It's brand new with the Royals. There's Ryan McMahon to 99. It'll be for Tim and the Rocks. Oh, you're saying on site. I, I, I get what you're saying. I, that, that, could be, that could be a wave of the future. Right? We could, uh, we could put a machine here. And we just put, I just put it in the machine, I guess? You know, put it, would I have to operate it? Oh, we don't need a whole list of people who passed, a lot of people pass away, Chan. It'd be going on forever. But thank you. There's a Nate Eaton, 82 out of 199, Aqua Wave autograph. Royals, Brandon. Yeah, we've been, we've been working on getting PSA, or PWCC on site. We have had PSA on site before, though. We had a nice little event with them. Convenient, they're just down the street from us. All right, three more jumbo boxes to go. We'll do an autograph recap after this. Yeah, that that could be a that could be a really cool could be a really cool entry, you know, addition to a hobby shop if there's on-site grading. Some uh, and th th somehow the machine would slab it too. That'd be awesome. But yeah, there's just a lot of those services now. We just gotta see which one is gonna, is going to, uh, you know, which one's, who's gonna really stick. It just, it feels like a, it just feels like a very startup-y kind of market, you know? Not, not everybody able to do it. What, what? Do what? Operate the machine? I think the arena folks were saying that 90% of their, of their grading is, you know, based off of, uh, based off of a AI. Oh, all grading on site, yeah, I see. Um, yeah, they may require more technology or, or more, uh, less mobile space. Yeah, I think PSA were just taking submissions. But I think Arena, or was it Tag? I think one of those guys are saying that, that you know, do you have uh, most of it's AI, and then 
the final finishing process is, is done by a human eye. Oh. That's Josh Smith. I thought that I just looked at Josh and assumed it was Josh Young. Uh, Tristan. We'll find a Josh Young. Wow, now that's an idea, Grizzlebees. Take the place of red boxes outside outside of uh, convenience stores, Walgreens, grocery stores, and then just uh, replace them with card grading machines. Pop your pop a card in, and then all of a sudden comes back out graded and slab. Yeah, H E A G. Everyone's using it. Everyone's using AI now. I think PSA to a certain extent has dumped a lot of money into more, you know, with computer assisted grading, which I suppose, which I suppose is now just, just call it AI. That's the fancy word to call that these days. 70 out of 499, Carlos Perez. Here's a refractor, Anthony Volpe for the Yankees. That's for Matt Smith. You know, I always wish that, that Beckett or PSA would run like a uh, I guess like like you're getting a uh, like you're getting a notary, like you're becoming a notary. Have like a one day seminar and a training session, just so as a you know that I can kind of eyeball a card and be like, all right, here's what I think this could be, you know, and then maybe run that machine that C May's talking about. Here's Corbin Carroll refractor, Sean Maddock with the Diamondbacks. Sort of like a grading consultant, yeah. You know, maybe someone discovers they have, they have a they have a talent for it. Maybe they become a grader at a, at a certain place. Here's a Riley Green rookie autograph. Nice one for Ronald and Detroit. I think that's our second one. We had one earlier. Yeah, like a certificate or something like that. Something like that would be cool. So if like someone comes in the shop and be like, hey, here's my Logan O'Hoppy rookie card, what do you think? There's a Kyle Stowers to 199, so you know, save them a little trouble before they, they take the time sending it in. You know, if someone has an aptitude for it, maybe they could be recruited, become a, uh, someone who grades at one of the big spots. There's a Josh Young. Could be interesting. Yeah, but a lot of grading coming at the National. Remember I was talking earlier tonight about the, um, ooh, nicely over Paguero, by the way, a little color match with their uniforms, 24 out of 50. Gold Wave Autograph, Pirates, Mark. Here you go, Mark. But yeah, a lot of grading companies. That 200,000 extra square feet that the National added this year, you know, um, was actually, I thought, I thought there'd be more tables there from, from vendors around the country, but was actually more, more like corporate sponsorship. So like, PWCC had a big presence there. A bunch of different grading companies had had larger kind of corporate booths out there. Most interesting, I thought. Hydration. Yeah, well, the, the, the computer generating, uh, the computer AI, whatever you want to call it, um, grading that, are going to be able to capture more problems. Right? Because it's almost, they're super specific. So 
So there may be situations where it'd be impossible to get a tent. Maybe that's a good thing. But a lot of companies are doing like, you know, once they grade the card, they'll scan it and then, you know, they scan it and then uh, they'll be able to tell you every imperfection on the surface, the corner, the edge, why it was graded that way. Now, will, will they be taking into consideration, um, will they be taking into consideration, I don't know, market changes or, or, what, or the grades of other cards as well? <coughs> True, they have security issues with, with computers. You know, there could be data breaches. So how are they protecting all that information? There's Robbie Ray to 299. That McCutcheon looked a little different, right? Is this a short print? Not a short print. Mm. It was a it was a refractor, and then it uh, looked like he most 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 of the guys are doing some baseball activity. He's doing a celebration activity. Is there a short print section on cardboardconnection.com? Maybe an image variation. Well, we'll sleeve it up anyway for the pirates. Grizzlebee saying not a short print though. Jan saying yes, it is a short print? Or are you agreeing with Grizzlebees? There's Cal Stevenson, Eric M with the A's. Hey, hey, see me. I, I, I like I like your brainstorming. I think there's, I think that's why there are a lot of grading companies. That space is is interesting. There could be a lot of, uh, I guess what are they what do they call in the business world? There could be a lot of uh, disruption in that industry that could happen. You know, PSA and and Beckett have been doing their um, is doing have been doing their grading thing for a very long time. They still remain as sort of industry standards. Here's Connor Capel. Another A for Eric. Oh, there is a variation guy. Okay, okay, thank you. So that is a space that can be that can be disrupted a little bit. There's Nelson Velasquez. Aqua Lava for the Cubs. For Steven. Cubs are buyers, it seems like. Not trading away anybody, keeping their guys, and it's gonna, they're going to make a run. Who wins the World Series this year? I will answer that question after the trading deadline tomorrow. You got to wait for that dust to settle, I feel like. Wow, A's trifecta, personal box for the A's, 105 out of uh, 150. Freddie Tarnock. All three autographs for Eric M. There you go, Eric. If you have a uh, if you trifecta, if you had those three, or maybe if you if you did a box trifecta, hey, you're a winner.
All right, final box, final three autographs. Let's see what we got here. Lighting a little weird. It looked a little too wide. We got a new camera, we're still dialing it in. Well, they, I mean, Otani Bunn sell. The Angels looked like they were buyers, right? They added somebody. They, add, they added players. They made a deal today. I think they had a little hole at third base that they filled today with the former national third baseman, Candelario? Can Candelario? Blanking on his name. I think they added to the pitcher staff. Did they add a pitcher? They had Giolito. They had a Giolito. I don't know if he had a great start there. And CJ Crone, right? They got some bats. No. I, well, I haven't busted open that many of it. Has Jason pulled one? He did a bulk of this while I was away at the National. So I haven't seen too many of these. I don't think we've pulled a super yet. I did pull a printing plate out of Top Chrome Baseball over the National Week, and on Saturday, I want to say. Did we get an out of five? I think I might have seen an out of five as well. Oh, that's a little dark. That's yeah, a little bit better. All right, final box. We got another one in the store. Get in on it while, uh, while teams last. We'll go through some orders after we do a quick little filler pack. It's good to see the Angels, though, saying they're all in. I think they've they've... It's kind of crazy to think that <clears throat> whether you're buying or selling kind of comes down to the last week before the trade deadline. There's Jeter Downs to 399 for Mark and the Nationals. But I think both the Cubs and the Angels have had a pretty good week, so I think, they've, they, I think they're thinking, all right, F it. Let's go all in. Let's see what happens. All right, Grichuk went there too. Yeah, so they've, they've pieced some, so the Angels have definitely pieced some players together. No, no, no. Well, what else? What else? Looks like Jace Peterson went to the uh, Diamondbacks. There's Simeon Woods Richardson for the Twins. That's going to be for Ben. There's that twin daughter. Yeah, join just in time in the final box, too. There's a chance we could wake up to a lot of... Uh, so a lot of deals tomorrow. It's a possibility. Phillies, Blue Jays, Giants have shown interest in Teoscar Hernandez. Red Sox are going to keep Alex Verdugo, apparently. Verlander, yeah, Grizzlebees was asking, does Verlander, what does everyone, does Verlander get traded tomorrow? I'm not sure if he's terribly happy with, with the changes that are happening. So maybe he wants to go somewhere else. I think there's an opt-out or maybe an opt-in, I think, that... That is, I think, making players a little, or teams a little nervous. Here's an Adley Rushman. Refractor, rookie refractor going to Tristan and the Orioles. That's right, Taylor Ward, I think, got, a, got hit by a pitch right in the face. Could have been real scary. When you're taking, what, I think an Alec Manoa pitch into the face. All right, there is Masataka Yoshida. 70 out of 299 for the Red Sox, Blair and the Red Sox. 
your Pittsburgher, so you hope Mitch Keller goes to my... I like Mitch Keller. I got him on my fantasy team, too. Um, he's been struggling a little bit. But he's still striking guys out. Ooh, nice DJ LeMayhew. Game use memorabilia. So I think the stuff is still there. Uh, but... I don't know, just not just giving up runs in bunches. Like it looks like he's doing well and then all of a sudden there's a blow up inning or something like that. 17 out of 50 on that one. Nice one for the Yankees, Matt Smith. Got that hologram sticker there as well. I don't know, maybe, maybe Mitch Keller could be pretty effective for the Dodger. I wouldn't mind that. I think he's under team control for a few more years, which might mean a better haul for the uh, Pirates if they move Mitch Keller. What's your uh, right-handed bat situation in Pittsburgh? I think the Dodgers could use that as well. Brett Beatty, nice, 440 out of 499. Refractor autograph for Alexander and the Mets. <laughs> yeah, sort of a Griffin Canning kind of feel, yeah. I also have him on my fantasy team. <laughs> Strikeout numbers are good. I got to work on those ERA numbers. I gotta, I'm hoping that, that that'll just handle itself, that eventually they're just, you know, there's things that run in cycles. And, you know, it's not like they're going to have a six ERA in the last, what, however month, forever. But the Dodgers need that pitching. The, the, I think in the last month, their entire pitching staff has had like a six ERA. Uh, or five and a half, something that's not good. That's not that's not winning titles. You know, they, they gotta I don't know if we can really count on as good as like Bobby Miller and Emmett Sheehan have been, can you rely on rookies in the playoffs? I don't know. You know, so so we'll have to see. All right, gang, that was pick your team number eleven, Topps Chrome Baseball Jumbo Edition. Full case break. That was the recap. I'm Joe for jazbeescaserace.com, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.